<laughs> Seven years, one minute. <laughs> My finding basically is trying to better understand a rare genetic condition that was affecting uh, pituitary hormone levels and how this was influenced by external factors. So human patients with the SOX mutation have low hormone levels. In the paper, we show that it's a population of cells that normally support nerve cells, neurons, called oligodendrocyte precursors, that are, are somehow affected by, first of all, the mutation in the gene SOX3, but then can be rescued, actually, by giving aspirin. So we were studying this uh, at Mill Hill, at the National Institute for Medical Research, and then we moved location, we moved all our mice to the Francis Crick Institute. And this very strong phenotype present in our mice there was lost completely. So the mice were perfectly normal in terms of pituitary function. Christoph and I were determined to get to the bottom of this. After talking with scientists at the Crick and the animal facility, it became very clear that the gut microbiota was very different in animals that were housed at the creek versus the ones that were housed at NIMO. A long piece of detective work by Christoph. He's proven this basically by doing fecal transplants, so taking fecal material we'd kept from the previous institute and putting this into the gut of these, of these mutant mice, and lo and behold, they get the phenotype back. So it, it was not something that I would have thought. Um, my area of expertise was the brain, how the brain works, how the brain develops. And to me, the gut was this organ that is quite far away from the brain, and there were no indication that what I was looking at would be influenced by the gut. Since this has happened to me, I've been, I've been quite vocal. A lot of scientists are telling me that when they move institution, they discover that their phenotype or their effect was changing, not disappearing like me. I think my case is a very strong case. When people are doing things like moving institute, moving labs, they need to bear in mind these sorts of changes. In fact, the diet, the water, the caging, everything changed, but it was the gut microbiota probably that's the, the strongest effect on this. Now I better understand the gut-brain axis and I really understand the proverb, you are what you eat. <laughs>